So today's video is really going to focus on creator owned comics and female leads because there's a lot of comics I read and I was just thinking about man what are some of the best most well crafted most interesting characters that happen to be women and I came up with a, a big list and it was really hard to kind of minimize it but these are the top five to me that kind of just shoot to the top of the list for me that just are the ones that I absolutely love and they are either the main or the co-main meaning that the series really has two main leads or sometimes three and they are part of that so these are going to take away characters that are kind of the side characters or love interest or whatever it is to the main character i'm not really going to count those for me i'm counting characters that i feel are the actual main lead or co-lead so let's get right into it with my list and my first pick is red sanja and the character sanja who's the main character now when you first look at this character, you might be like, oh, come on, man. You're picking this girl because she's not even wearing any damn clothes. And that is semi-true. As you can see that this character isn't, uh, you know, dressed up in a whole bunch of armor. Her armor is very well, minimal. However, her character work is actually really good. She's a really fun and interesting character. And even some of her more goofy adventures out there written by different creators are still fun but the one that really made me a fan of this character is gail simone's run which i really wish was longer but you could get the complete set or you can get the three trades that consist of it and but that's really what made me love this character is just the motivation behind her actions the heroism but also just the kick assness that's a big factor for me if i can have a character who i feel just kicks a lot of ass well then they raise right up to the top of my list and i could not put her any lower than this thinking about it she really is one of the coolest characters one of the coolest designs too and she's a redhead and i think just in general we need more redheads in this world. And my number four is from Witchblade, and that's Sarah. And I absolutely love Sarah. Really, if I'm going to be honest, reading some of the older Witchblades are a challenge. Uh, this character was definitely made to look almost nude. And, well, you look at her and she got, you know, a very, very big boob skinny body type of thing. And, hey, that's the 90s. We're all just going to have to get used to that. But when she comes much later and ron mars kind of makes her this you know badass detective with multiple layers actually feelings and complications to her thought process what's right what's wrong how is she going to handle demons how is she going to handle regular humans who are pieces of shit on the job while also having this magical force the witch blade this this thing that attaches to her and make her super powerful how is she going to put that in line with her job as a detective so all of this combined made her such an interesting and rich character, in my opinion. Really got the character development of a snappy, very fun character. And on top of that, her design definitely not as revealing, still revealing, but not as revealing as it goes later on in that series. So I personally appreciate not only the character herself, but just her overall presence as she grows as a character and her funny comebacks and just kind of that you know give no shits attitude that she has to put on being in that field of work all right my number three is forever from lazarus now when you just you know a lot of my choices on here actually get summed up more in terms of the personality of the character and forever is the other end of that so every once in a while i like characters with a lot of personality that can grow but every once in a while i just want a badass killing machine both male and female i like that type of character every once in a while it's not my favorite but every once in a while forever is both the scariest <laughs> person i'd ever want to see in front of me but also holy god is she hot so you got like that double you know mix that's really hard to kind of judge on top of that she does have some really interesting character developments as the story of lazarus goes on and the cloning and all the crazy shit that this has going on plus it is mostly a spy kind of like thriller series going on in the background or the main story i guess you can call it but there's just so much to it and forever is a really fun character when it comes to just being lethal as hell so you know we all like those jason bourne style characters that's what forever is so for real if you want just a kind of a, a borderline quiet character she talks but not too much but a badass i'll murder your face and also pretty hot can't go wrong with forever here all right my number two is rachel and rachel rising now 
It's hard for me because this series is one of my favorite of all time. And Zoe is probably my favorite character of the series because she was just cracking me up, especially the second half of the series. I love Zoe, but Zoe is a side character. Even though she does get a more prominent role as the series goes on, she is definitely not the main lead. Rachel is. Now, Rachel, to me, is the closest thing that I can get to Buffy from Buffy the TV show in a comic. So Rachel, if you don't know, she's been through shit. Uh, she died. If <laughs> That's how the series starts. She died. She digs herself out of a grave and she's just trying to put her life together, find out who did it. And it is spectacular. The series is amazing. I've mentioned it so many times. Go get it. But this video is focusing on why I think Rachel's such a great main lead. And that's because this girl died. And I feel like a lot of people, you know, we read a lot of comics where people die and come back. But if you were to actually get murdered and you remember that and you come back to life, how do you readjust to life? And I think Rachel is one of the strongest characters when it comes to that. She really puts herself back together despite being strangled to death. I think that's like one of the worst deaths you can possibly have. And she just pushes through it all, through the drama, through the pain, through the... Uh, everything i mean that's the thing and then as the story progresses and it gets more supernatural it gets even weirder this character does not stop she keeps going forward saying screw it i've been through hell i died i'm back and that is so cool i love characters like that where i can actually admire them more so than relate to them and that's something that i really liked about rachel also the series is fantastic and like i said zoe is a great character as well you gotta check her out she's awesome but Rachel is just a character. Out of all these characters I listed so far, she's probably the one I admire the most. And last but not least is Elena from Saga. Now, Saga is absolutely top 10 series of all time for me. I've mentioned it a million times. And this series is kind of hard because you got three real main leads. You have Elena, who's the mom. Hazel, who's the daughter, who's kind of talking about the series and, and saying this is all that happened. She's the storyteller. And then you also have Marco, who's the husband. So those are like the main leads. Now, you could argue who's who, who's the main lead. I guess you can say Hazel really is, but not till later. She's a baby for a lot of this series and then becomes a child and now is a little bit older. But still, Elena and Marco are really the lead. You got the husband and the wife, and they both equally get so much character development, and they're both very much the major part of the series that, to me, this is the perfect example of a co-lead series. You need both to make this series. And Elena is possibly one of the most relatable, interesting, fun characters you can have, and you can't help but admire her strength as well, getting through all the shit she does. So if you don't know what Saga is, I'm just going to give you a little quick summary. Is that basically Elena and Marco are from two different species or races. And they make a baby. And these races are at war with each other. And uh, yeah, we don't have babies. That's a no-no for these two. And they do. And then they're on the run, basically, from both races plus other people trying to capture that child and them. And so... It's basically Elena working through taking care of her child, working with Marco to be a good wife, while also dealing with all the craziness of this universe coming after her, and she never, ever backs down. Now, she breaks down, and so does every character in the series, which is what makes them so human, which makes us relate to them. But what makes me inspiring, what's inspiring reading this, is Elena getting back up always. That's always a great just push in the right direction for me in terms of reading characters and enjoying them. I will say that character design wise, she is not only one of my favorite looking characters, the race itself is cool, but she's also one of the hottest characters. Now, if you don't know, Saga has a lot of sex. And uh, thank you for that, Fiona Staples, for letting us see this beauty. Let's all take a second to appreciate that. Anyway, Elena is definitely one of my favorite characters from everything really from personality to design to the way she pushes through this series and becomes the best wife and mother that she could possibly be in the scenario she's put in yeah there's very very little i would say i don't like about this character if anything and that ends my list now there are a lot of great characters who are women and i would love to hear your top five or top three, or top ten, whatever you want to say. Who's your favorite? Hell, go with that. Uh, this was a really fun list to make because I got to sit down, and I have a million comics in my room if anybody's ever seen a tour of my room, and I'm just looking around thinking, man, who am I going to pick? 
Uh, that was the best part of this because there were a lot of characters to choose from. And these are the ones that kind of just jumped out at me and said, hey, hey, remember me? And I'm like, yeah, I remember you. That was actually my mind talking to me. Anyway, I would really love to see what you guys choose. List them below. If you guys like this video, as always, click that like button. That means a lot. If you love this video, hit the subscribe button. I'd love to see you back. And everybody else, well, you know, have a day that's pretty good. That's what I say.